never met anyone quite like her before. Hi, so this is another random video, um, not about crafts, but it is a DIY. So um, today we're going to be making ant poison and this is so good that I feel bad not sharing it. And I, I really waited a long time to make this video because I tried it and then now I have no ants in my house. Like we had like tons of ants. Especially because I have dogs and the kids feed the dogs, there's dog food on the ground, I don't know. But we had tons of ants and then I was like so desperate, I'm like, we tried Terra, we tried the combat, we even have an exterminator and he couldn't get rid of the ants. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna Google it. And then I think I maybe on TikTok or something, I found this recipe for this ant poison. It's pretty natural. Um, so, you know, okay for the kids and you don't have to spray around your house or, you know, leave poison everywhere. And so I try it and then now we have no ants in the house. So I wanted to make this video, but I didn't know how I was going to show it because there's no like really good before and after. Like we had like trails of ants. Like I would leave like something in the, like a spoon with yogurt in the sink, the kitchen sink. And then an hour later there'd be ants. So it was like pretty bad. And I think it had to do with like, it was rainy and maybe the bugs come in more. I don't know, but I guess I should just get on with the video. So what you're gonna need is borax. Let me go grab that box. Okay, here's the box if you've never seen this before. It's in your laundry section at like CVS or grocery store. And you only need a little bit, but I bought the whole box. It was pretty cheap. So the recipe is one third cup of borax, which is in here. One fourth cup sugar, just regular sugar. So just dump it in. And then half a cup of warm water. And it should be warm so that, you know, um, the sugar melts and dissolves. So we're just gonna mix it up and try to get the sugar and the borax to dissolve as much as you can. No worries if it's like a little cloudy or a little chunky, it's fine. Just stir it up for maybe a minute. So borax is something you don't want to eat. Like for me, I have two dogs. So I did put this like in places that they wouldn't have access to um, otherwise I would leave this like everywhere but yeah so if you have dogs or pets you probably don't want to let them eat it because it does have like the sugar smell I don't know if they'd actually eat it but just to be safe okay and then you have to kind of think about how many of these ant poison things you want to make and then times that by two so you put two cotton balls for each and I guess trap kind of thing. So let's see, yeah, I'll make I don't know, four. So I'm gonna put eight cuts and balls. And you're just gonna throw it in there. And then let it absorb the solution. Super simple, right? And then we need something to carry it around on because it's going to be kind of soggy. So you just get, um, make little tin foil trays. So I just get one piece, I folded it in like third. So it's kind of like stable enough to hold the little balls. And you don't want to make it like I mean, you can make it whatever you want, like super messy, but I don't know. We're going to leave it around, so I'm trying to make it a little neat. I'm making a little tray, I guess. And then you label it with the Sharpie so people know what this is. Okay. So once the cotton balls are pretty much absorbed, we're just gonna put two on there. And that's it. So 
So if it's really drippy, just fold it up. The ants will still be able to get in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this outside. I actually just filmed footage of me leaving my old one. So I just have like these things sitting around here for like a month. And the ants have stayed away. I don't even know if they came back at a lot at any point, but they have stayed away. So I mean, it's just sugar and laundry detergent booster so you can leave it out for however long you want um, but yeah I'll try to get some like good footage of the ants outside so this is why I'm making it again I'm like I was thinking or talking to my friend and she's like it worked really well at her house I'm like, oh maybe I should just leave these balls outside and like get rid of all the ants that'd be awesome because I do see still see them outside of the house just not inside but yeah Please try this if you have ant problems. I'm like, I want to guarantee it, but I can't. But it works so well for me. And I wish I could credit whoever it was on TikTok that I saw, but I don't know how to find that video. It's 10 a.m. Um, I'm gonna take off this old one and replace it with the fresh one I just made and see what happens. I do still see some ants, but they're not crowding around it yet. So maybe it, we need that fresh cotton ball. <laughs> but I'll check back later, maybe in a couple hours, and see what happens. Okay, it's about two hours later, and there's ants on it. I see like those little tiny red ants and some dust. Um, not a whole lot of ants, but even when I did it in the house, it wasn't like crowded with ants. It's like they came, they got some of the sugar stuff, and then they, I think, took it back to the nest. But it'll be interesting to see if tomorrow there's no like ants around here. That would be great. But I'll check back in later. Okay, so I put this one out about two hours ago, and these black ants are going for it. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Also, I just want to mention, I put tape on the bottom of the foil so it doesn't fly away outside for this one and the one I put out by the garage. So today's the next day and there's still a couple ants checking it out. There's still some ants along the wall but overall there's less and maybe because it's the outdoors it'll take a little bit longer. Also I was reading up some more about ants and I guess Adult ants eat the liquid part of the poisons and then they take back the solid part to feed to the babies and larva or I don't know. But yeah, so I might need to get these wet again. They look a little bit drier. But yeah, I totally recommend trying this out. Uh, it's only two ingredients, not including water of course, but yeah, definitely try it out. It could be like a game changer especially indoors for ants. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, it really helps me out. And I'll see you in my next video.